Hapo sawa kabisa. We love uh, that we are talking about money, but I like to know it personally from you bona CEO. Mm. Did you get a hang of money when you were younger? Like as a young man, were you able to just know this money goes here, I'll budget like this, I'll, I'll put this in uh, specific assets, mm. or you got to learn as you continued? Because uh, the biggest challenge is we expect young people to know, but they've never been young before, mm. <laughs> or these young adults before. So they're, they're trying to get a hang of their personality, but also trying to understand their monies. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I learned as I as I went, as I grew up. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think anybody delib- deliberately taught me how to 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 manage money mm-hmm. or how to spend my money. I mean, I yeah, I wish I I, I knew what I know now. Yes, I think I would have been in a much better place. I yeah. always say, uh, yeah, the earlier the better, and the better the best time to start is probably now. You know, it was <laughs> yeah. yesterday, but the second best time is yeah. right now. Is right now. Um, the fact that we are um, we have access to so much information, but financial literacy s- still seems to be, you know, quite a bit of a challenge. And young people also don't think that um, they should be thinking that far ahead, right? Mm-hmm. What do you have to say to the young person who thinks I'm too young to be saving, or I have time, I can just, you know, little Mm-hmm. And then at some point, I'll I'll catch up. Yeah. Yeah. The interesting about thing about uh, money mm-hmm. is that uh, first, I always say there is never too little. Mm-hmm. It's never too early. Mm-hmm. In fact, uh, the power of compounding will tell you that the earlier you start, the you'll best. be so amused on um, amazed at how much money you'll end up with. I mean, we've seen millionaires made out of just saving and investing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it's never too early i always tell people the first even with your first salary your first income whichever gig you are in mm-hmm. uh, please uh, put that money aside uh, yeah Mm-hmm. That's uh, really exciting because how people make money uh, nowadays compared to maybe 10, 15 years ago is different. Uh, we've seen the emergence of technology and it means young money, uh, young, young people are making money fast. We'd like to just know what does it take for young adults to actually develop